the ballroom dancer. And there is the release. Very smooth, technically very efficient throwing from uh, Robert Thornton. Taylor, as always, piling in, licking his chops at the prospects of uh, this kind of a match. Now both Thornton and Taylor getting the first start in the treble. And uh, you would consider at least one more after that, really following it up. Anderson is certainly not uh, right on top of his game. It's a lovely dart from Wade, the opening in the post. And once again, can't follow it through. Has to settle for the single hundred. First to six, it's best of 11, 1,001, first time as you said Dave within the PDC and indeed his predecessor, the WDC, first time in all the years that we've seen uh, 1,001 employed, and in pairs, I think it's great, I think it's good, the players themselves are used to it, they played in exhibitions, many of them, and uh, you get 1,001 Gallon leagues and such like in pubs and clubs in leagues around the land. And there's a lovely 180. It really was efficient back from Wade. No props. Good team spirit as well between Wade and Taylor. Celebrating that maximum there. And uh, you don't need to miss many targets to find yourself well behind in this discipline. to see exhibition guys love to see the pros going head there that over and one because they know they're going to get lots of big scores and uh, really really giving their all these four players on behalf of their respective nations looks as though England are going to equal equal up here one apiece well, they should certainly be down at a double first, and with this pair on parade, you'd have to fancy their chances more than somewhat. He's got the two tops there, uh, Dave. 100. Left wave, 40. And so, double top for the machine. Is it to be a mean machine? Yes, it is. Well, that's why it's hallmark these days, double top and double ten. I mean, I noticed earlier in the night, double ten, he never missed it again when he wanted it. And, uh, yeah, double top, double ten, but it's Anderson. That's his fourth maximum of the night, Anderson. He's hit two in this match, he hit two in his earlier match. Just think actually, John, that third dot deceptive there with a 140, but anyway, it was still an impressive opener from Anderson. Yep. I've got an appointment at the opticians oh, anyway on Tuesday, but seriously, it looked in, but uh, anyway. It makes no difference because the Scots have opened up a lead here, the third leg, and uh, we're having a little bit more of a competitive edge to this doubles. Yeah, perhaps we had anticipated, and uh, that's a uh, little short of a darting disaster for Wade under crowd 11. Well, even my eyes tells me that was a lousy 22, and the crowd loved it, didn't they? Now, can Scotland capitalise? Great last dart. In the context, a good score. You get 250 ahead, a ton is a good score. The pressure's on the Englishman here in this particular leg. Well, we've got a match on now. The Scots have won a leg. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but they're looking good here to actually go into the lead in this uh, pairs discipline. And that can open up uh, a whole range of new possibilities. 
Yes, the important thing is, isn't it, that uh, it does bring the match level. If they can somehow win this, it keeps their hopes alive, takes us into the final two singles games all square. And uh, English, though I am through and through, Dave Shrewsbury born. I was born on St George's Day, I'm not going to tell you when. It would be nice to see the Scots win this. And uh, the English pair are in the same street as the Scots now. They were some way back, just a couple of throws go. <laughs> it's thought that it's been the most impressive of the Scots in this discipline, you know. Uh, Anderson will be disappointed. I just think he, he was so devastated having gone off to a roaring start and uh, he was rocked in his socks by uh, James Wade. That's better. Yeah. Good cover shots and it maintains that healthy lead. 233, 223 rather the lead. So. Whatever Taylor does here, and he gets a ton 40. Uh, can't afford here to dither. Uh, the Scots need all the trebles they can accumulate. And uh, Thornton more than holding his end up in uh, this pair so far, and uh, so too are the Scots, and that's an indication. This match is by no means over, but Wade responds to the pressure, which gives Taylor a chance and a shot if Anderson misses this one four nine, which he will. Yeah, been terrific pressure darts from England over the last uh, six. Taylor hitting a one forty, Wade the one eighty, and uh, Thornton only getting eighty one. And after that, Anderson not really cashing in. This will be an amazing leg for England to win. It really will, they were, they were so far behind and the, it's been a combination of disappointing Scottish throwing over the last six starts and brilliant English throwing which brought them back into it. And uh, Fordham with a chance. Should stay on 18s, now double 18 for the leg. Shanghai on 18s would have done it. Now then 88 to give England the lead. Oh, double 14 for Wade, and then New York knocked him off one, but Four Wade and one. Taylor, quite brilliant in that leg, go to one ahead. And uh, the English pairing really did come from way roaming in the gloaming to take that leg, and again, the Scots so often, isn't it, John, with the Scots in so many sports in soccer, they have the passion, they have the flair, they have the ability, but they just seem to fade. I'll tell you what, Dave, that was a leg they should not have lost. They were so far ahead. Uh, I mean, 3-5-3, three, 2-30 three, was playing 3-5-3. Three, three. We had a 140 and a 180 from nice. Taylor and Wade. Uh, Thornton hit an 81. Uh, Anderson followed up with a... A disappointing score suddenly it turned around and you know at what 133 oh. phil taylor only hits what so was it 35 uh so but wade his, his finishing has been really first class apart from the first four legs he played in the opening match he's been deadly on doubles that's right he left the 45 to leave 88 and uh, wade if we saw clinically took it out now then Daylight again in the score. Steady ton. And this time it's England. 126 ahead against the throw. So another treble needed here. And to his credit, he gets it. This game, this particular leg. Still in England's favour. Thornton has been the more impressive thrower. And look at Taylor now. Taylor playing to the crowd. It's <laughs> been for the fun of season. And, uh, 
the darts uh, was a real